first graders, I'm back with Winslow and we're going to teach you another game. This game is called, do you remember the name? No. Counters in the Cup. So we are going to start with five objects. I want you to go around your house and find five, five things, all that are the same and they have to be small. Today we're going to use Legos. You could maybe use pennies or beads. Buttons. 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 Buttons would work. So you'll need five small objects and a cup that you can't see through. In this game, we're going to be practicing breaking apart the number five. After you play it a few rounds with five, you and your family can choose other numbers to work with. What we want to do is build fluency in um, how we put together and break apart numbers. So we're going to get started. Ready, Winslow? Yeah. Do you want to be the first one to cover your eyes? Um, no. No? Oh, you're going to hide them on me? All right, here I go. I'm going to close my eyes. Open them. <gasps> Wait! <laughs> there aren't any outside of the cup. <laughs> so one of my parts of five is zero. And I know because I don't see any outside the cup, the other part must be five. Shall we lift it? Yeah. Okay. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, zero plus five is five. Close your eyes. Okay, open your eyes. How many are outside the cup? Three, two. Three, and so what's inside the cup? Two. Two, drum roll. Oh, she's right, <laughs> good job. So, Winslow, how did you know two were inside the cup? Because last time I guessed three. Because, so Winslow happens to know that three plus two is five. So you might know that. I want you to practice strategies we learned this year. Winslow could have started at two and counted on to five, like this. Two, three, four, five. That's one way. Another thing Winslow could do is to count backwards down the number line. She knows our hole was five. That's what we started with. So she could say five and count backwards two to find out what number. Five, four, three. Oh! Inside must be three. What we want to do is continue to break apart numbers, put them back together again, and then also be practicing counting forward and backward on our number line to make things feel a little bit easier in first grade math. Good job. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks.